hello and welcome to this video in this video i'm going to share you what is a default order settings and how we can create a different values for sale order purchase order and inventory management we can stop any product for sales purchase or any inventory transaction so, so welcome to this video let's begin let's go for our demonstration for for current uh, demonstration i am using 10.0.39 version and this vm is configured in my personal laptop right and if we go into a product management and then release products so here all products are available for a certain legal entity released or available for sales purchase or inventory transaction for a specific legal entity so currently i am in a usmf legal entity default order setting is available in invent manage inventory and default order settings action plan so, bef so before going to uh, in a further detail for what is a default order settings i am going to my product pkr and so this is my product i created specially for this demonstration and this product has a multiple variants so for multiple variants if i go into release product variants you can see here are multiple variants of current products are available and for uh, for current demonstration i took only two uh, two configurations the size and color based on that i create a multiple products and even we can release more variants i'm going back and if i go back to inventory management here is a default order settings define multiple default order settings uh, and these order settings can be very based on the site and variant and if you have only single product then you can create a multiple default ordering order settings for different sites so for currently i on a zero level zero rank level or a default level i did not define any site and i i have option for a purchase order inventory and sale order on the top there is an option for a purchase order default order type and if i click on it here are option for a purchase order production order or can ban order this option is related to a master planning if you configure the master planning it will be the result of a plan order either it will be a purchase order production or can ban so i am not using the de uh, demand forecasting or all those things for a master planning i so i am ignoring it and by default i select the purchase order I did not define the site here size color so this option what I am defining here it will be applied to all items on all sites so for first option is purchase order so here multiple means that home whenever you create a purchase order it will be a multiple of a specific quantity so for for example the pack is for 10 each then I have to define with respect to 10 each but I'm ignoring this option currently here and I define the minimum minimum order quantity is a 50 and maximum order quantity is a hundred and then standard order quantity is also hundred standard order quantity is used that comes into a sales or purchase or transfer order line by default and we can't give order less than 50 and cannot increase a thousand order it did not restrict but it gives us a warning message and then comes a uh, purchase lead time so if we go to explore all those things then first we can so now we have a three options it provides three options purchase order inventory and sale order purchase order is related to what default purchase order or planned purchase order other than we can use the minimum order quantity maximum order quantity standard quantity then comes the inventory inventory is related to a planned order planned transfer order or inventory related transactions we can define here multiples minimum order maximum order and standard quantity and then we have option that we can stop this product for a any transaction like this this stop option is available also in purchase order inventory and the sales order 
when we clicked on it there's a certain type of inventory transaction stop for example if i click on a stop in a purchase order when we have, when we are going to select this item in a purchase order it stopped us it gives us warning that this purchase purchase is not possible similar for a sales order and a sale orders and a plan orders so i'm uncheck it then demonstration i i override this functionality for site one one and the item has a xs item has size of xsl and color is red override default settings and this option is available for uh, all purchase order inventory and sale order so i define a purchase order that its minimum quantity is 70 and maximum order quantity is 1000 and default order setting is 150 and we have option for override the order override the stop for example all items i can purchase but this variant can be a stop for a specific uh, site i want to show you that this site and this default site is a different this site means that this this default on uh, this order setting is applied to a specific site but this default site is related to a sales purchase or transfer order line so what will be the default site and warehouse on a purchase order line sale order lines and transfer order so let's go for a demonstration so i for all items i set a 50 minimum quantity maximum order quantity is 1000 and standard quantity is 100 but if i go for side one and, and xsl and red item variant then it will be a minimum quantity is 70 maximum order quantity is 1000 and default orders default standard order setting is 150 so i am duplicating this tab into accounts payable and then our purchase order so click on a plus new and create a new purchase order and i select ok so here i select pkr and item is selected default site is one and i'm going to select the variant this and you can see the standard quantity comes as a hundred and unit price is coming from then uh, coming from a product information create the, the purchase price comes from a product itself i set uh, set it when i create the product it did not come from uh, any uh, it did not come from any trade agreement or purchase agreement right i am going to add one more line and here i select the same pkr double zero one and here i select red xsl you can see the standard quantity comes 150 now i am going to update the purchase quantity is 1500 in a previous step i set the maximum allowed quantity is 1000 i am putting one for 500 more than when i save it it give me option you specify a quantity of 1500 the maximum allowed quantity is a thousand do you want to use thousand instead i say no let it allow same thing i created here for other product I said 2000 saved it it asked me the same question but I here I did yes so it revert back to a thousand maximum allow quantity so this is the default settings so now I'm going to test one more scenario that let is it uh, is it stop any product so I am going again a default product and create a new one and here I select upper one and then size i select x and maximum height side and select a red right and i set i stop this product i set default override the default order and i stop for purchasing saved it 
so it did not allow because there is no variant available for this so i am changing it to this and then try so this variant is available and i stopped it for purchasing on a site one so after saving it i'm going to on a purchase and create add lines again i select pkr double one then i select the site then i go for this item and item is coming when i saved it it gives me error the product error message that product is on hold this is caused by the following dimensions so if i go to, i'm good you can see i removed that product and i'm going to confirm this purchase order so purchase order is successfully confirmed thank you for watching in this video i show you how you can set a default order settings for each item this option is available on release product and there you can define based on the site and based on your variant color config size and if you have a product without any variant only a product then you can define that product on a base then you can define it for a site based thank you for watching see you in another video